My project, I have this notification client inside of the Cognito Authentication Service. And I've gone to line 239, like the stack trace said, and you can see that when we write code across multiple lines like this, it's technically telling us that everything that you're seeing here is still on line 239. Now, when I'm debugging null reference exceptions like this, and I have a bunch of code that's technically going to line up against line 239, because everything that you're seeing here is going to classify still as line 239, I have to start walking through which things can be null. Now, parameters, just because I have it on my screen right here, if I scroll up a little bit higher, I can see parameters is coming from, oh, something that's passed in. So this could potentially be null, but let's scroll back down and see what else at line 239 could be null. One that looks very interesting is this get user ID for email result because we're getting the value off of it. And you'll notice that I'm using this bang operator, which is supposed to say, hey, look, we know that everything coming back that we're using at this point cannot be null. Therefore, we're able to grab the value off. Without this bang operator, we get a warning from Visual Studio that's going to tell us, hey, look, this thing could potentially be null. But there's some situations where we might have more context than the compiler.